I personally see it almost as a video game character. The data just shows you like a full kind of picture of where you're at physically. Voltech is really good to use, it's quite easy. All your data is presented on the Volt Hub. You've got plenty of different metrics, like more than you could kind of ask for. I like being able to see kind of where I've come from. It stores all your previous data and I can also kind of compare myself to other people my age, people my sport or anyone in the gym or in our system basically. I'm um, originally from West Africa, Sierra Leone, and moved to Australia at the age of 21 to chase my dream as a sprinter. Every time we do testing, especially doing the drop jump, it helps me indicate how much power I'm going to put onto those blocks when the gun goes off. Vold Smart Speed, Vold Force Decks, Vold Force Frames, all of these are high tech components towards the Vold Suite when it comes to being able to really know where you need to focus training on your athlete, when you should push or when you should pull back on your training loads. Put your heel down, jam it down, jam it down, hard as you can. The first time I did a testing, you know, I watched the numbers, it was like, I was very impressed. A couple of months later, I did the same testing again and the numbers went off. I was like, oh, this is really crazy. And that's actually when I run my PB. I think the science, the science actually tells you how you feel. It does fill me with great confidence. You see world-class athletes every single time they do testing, just to see where they're at. And then they'll knock, yes, I'm ready to race. So you've hit a big PB there at 71, right? I can tell you that's one of the biggest female sports numbers I've ever seen. I personally see it almost as a video game character. The data just shows you like a full kind of picture of where you're at physically. Obviously, numbers don't lie, so you can point out where your weaknesses are and just make your training more efficient. Push, 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 push. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Keep going, keep going. And rest. Well done. I had a torn meniscus and to have the data before that for especially my hamstrings because I lo lost a lot of strength with the with the work that I was doing on my right leg. So with the ISO ankle uh, specific test and the, the drop jump and counter movement jumps, if you're not symmetrical, you can tear another quad or you can tear your hamstring or, or that kind of stuff. So that was a really pivotal moment for me with the Volt technology. We need to get more finite, a bit more technical in how we're measuring and what we're looking at. So that's what those valve products look at. We can look at interlimb symmetries in your norboard, assess the eccentric qualities from a hamstring posterior chain perspective. You know, you go on the force decks and you can do a plethora of different assessments that measure everything from maximal force to reactive force to lower limb explosive power, and then even go down to the finite detail to then work out and pinpoint what intervention we need.